Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually change the shape of a floating action button in Android. That is actually not that difficult to do. And I will actually show you how you can make all these shapes that you saw in the thumbnail. So in Android Studio, I created an empty project here. And in our activity main XML file, I first want to replace that text view here with a floating action button. So in our code tab here, we can simply do that, replace that with a floating action button. Um, make sure to choose a normal one, not the extended one here. And then we can remove the text here and we can actually give it an icon. Um, that's not necessary here for this tutorial, but let's do that in our drawable folder, right click, new vector asset. Make sure to choose clip art, click on clip art, or we can actually we can actually just leave it like that. You could choose an icon here, um, one of those thousand items here, but I will actually leave this cool Android guy here. I'll name it IC Android and click on next and finish. And then we can simply set the source of our floating action button to this IC Android icon. And if we then take a look in our design tab, you can see here's our floating action button. And by default, that is just round, as you probably know, but that is what we want to change now. So we can actually change that by defining our very own style for our floating action buttons in our values folder. And by simply clicking on that themes folder, we can open our themes XML file. And in here, we can define styles for specific views in our app. And we want to do that for a floating action button here. So first of all, we want to define a so-called shape appearance for our floating action button. So that shape appearance will actually be responsible to um, manipulate the shape, the default shape a floating action button has. And then we can later define a style for our floating action button and simply assign that shape appearance. And then we just set that um, floating action button theme as a default theme for um, floating action buttons, or rather as a default style. So step by step here, first of all, we want to define a style tag here and call that fab shape style one, because as I said, we will have several ones here. Um, I will show you all the styles I showed you in the, thumb in the thumbnail. This will have the parent called small component here, this shape appearance, material components, small component. And then we can open that style tag here. And in this style tag, we can now define items here um, with which we can actually change the single properties of our shape. So first of all, we can set the corner size. So how big our corners are actually from that floating action button. Um, we can set that to 50% here and that is actually the default value. So if we have a so-called round corner family, so that um, if we set a corner size, then these corners are rounded. And there's also a cut corner family. So if we set a corner size, then these edges are actually cut off. Um, if we have a rounded family and we set it to 50%, then it is just a perfect circle. So that is just the default floating action button. But because we want to change that corner family I talked about, um, because the, the top left and the top right corner are actually cut off here in this shape, we need to explicitly define that corner size here. So what we want to do here is we want to define another item. And this time we define the corner family. You can see we can either change that for the whole floating action button, or we can change it for um, specific corners. So what we actually want to do here is, we want to set the corner family of our top left and top right corner to cut so that we cut them off. And the corner family of our two bottom corners, we will set that to rounded because then we get this rounded shape. So we choose corner family top left. We set that to cut. We duplicate that line with control D and we change this to top right. We duplicate that two more times, actually set this one to bottom left and this one to round it. And we're missing bottom right. 
And we also want to set that to rounded. And now that is it for our shape style actually. But this is not applied to our floating action buttons yet. For that we need to define another style here. So we open a new style tag, um, give it a name of floating action button style. And we set the parent to widget design floating action button. Then this style will automatically apply to all floating action buttons in our app. And here we will assign an item with the name shape appearance overlay. And it's important that you choose overlay and not shape appearance, otherwise it won't work. And in here we will then apply this shape style that we actually defined for the shape overlay, uh, shape appearance overlay for our floating action buttons. So we set that to our fab shape style one. And then we need to set this theme or this style for floating action buttons actually as the default theme for our floating action buttons. So here in our actual app theme, we will define a new item um, called floating action button style for the name. Then we open that and set it to floating action button style. And if we now run our app, take a look in our emulator, then you can see now our floating action button is shaped exactly as we want. So let's actually see how we can also implement um, the other shapes that I showed you in the thumbnail. We will scroll down here and I will copy that block here. I could also replace it, but just that you don't delete it and that you can always look back how that um, was made. I'll just leave it here and copy it all the time and just define single styles for each shape. So the next shape was actually a quadratic shape um, just with rounded corners. And that is actually very easy to do. We don't need to define these corner families here because the default corner family is rounded and we also want rounded corners here. So we don't need to define that, but we just want to change the default corner size that is 50 by default. We want to change that to 20. And if we then scroll up and change this shape appearance overlay here to our second style and relaunch our app, take a look here. Then you will see now we have a rect uh, well, quadratic floating action button with rounded corners. So that is also very easy to do. Let's do the next style. I will again paste what I copied before, change the name to fab style three. So this one is actually the one that was round, but has a corner in the bottom right. So for that, we actually need some more properties. We first want to make sure that the corner size stays at 50%, but we want to change the corner size for the bottom right corner to zero, because there we basically want um, a sharp corner. So we set corner size bottom right to zero DP. And these attributes here actually are always stronger than these um, general attributes. So that will just make all corners have 50%, but that one will make the bottom right corner to zero DP. And that will basically override this here for the bottom right corner. And then we actually only need to define that the bottom right corner is actually cut off. So we set it to cut and we set the rest to round it like this. And if we then change this style to fab style three, rerun our app and take a look here. This video is sponsored by myself. If you want to take your learning to the next level, then click the first link in this video's description to get to my website, where you will find over 300 quiz questions for all my videos, take notes, climb the leaderboard and compete with other Android developers just by creating a free account. Then you can see that is the shape that we want to have here. Let's see what else we have here. I will paste it again. Oops. Uh, not that. I will copy this here, paste it again, change it to fab style 4. Now we have that floating action button that actually has eight corners. So for that we just want to set the corner size to 
30%. And then we can remove the rest and simply set the name of this item to corner family. So we just want to define the general corner family to cut because we don't have any rounded corners here. And then we need to replace it again here to four, run this app and take a look. Then you will see how that looks. And as you can see, that is now that floating action button with eight corners. Let's also see how we can actually make that diamond shape floating action button so that we have four corners, but all edges are basically cut off completely. That is very easy to do if we already have that style. We can simply copy it, paste it, change this to five and just change the corner size to 50% instead. So then the corners are actually cut off even more. So let's also change this up here to five and rerun our app. And then you will see now this kind of looks like a diamond. And we have one style missing here that actually has only one rounded side in the, the top left. So I will again paste this style here. Well, let's actually copy one that has some more attributes. And this one, call this fab shape style six. Here we will change the overall corner size to zero dp. We don't want to have a corner size here only for the top left corner. So we set the corner size, corner size top left here actually to 80%. So quite a lot because we want that whole rounded corner. And then we will set the corner family in general to cut because we have that family for the top right, the bottom right and the, uh, and the bottom left corner. But for the um, top left corner actually, so corner family top left, we want to have a cut off corner. So then remove these other attributes here, change this to fab style six and rerun our app for this last style. Let's take a look. And that doesn't look as I expected. Let's see what that issue is. Oh, of course, we don't want to cut this. Instead, we want to set it to round it. <laughs> let's, let's start that again. And yes, that is how I wanted it to look. So please let me know below what your favorite shape here actually is. I would be very interested in that. And other than that, Make sure to subscribe to my channel. You will get regular Android content every second day. I wish you a pleasant day. Have a nice day. And I already said that. Bye bye.